Hi, we're Slater Kinney. And these are our marquee memories. I saw George Michael when I was in junior high. It was on the Faith Tour. Obviously, George Michael was huge at the time. So I went with my friend from junior high, Hadley. I won't say her last name just for privacy in case she's <laughs> renouncing to her George Michael affection as an adult. I grew up in the suburbs of Seattle, but often the biggest bands would play the Tacoma Dome, which is about a half hour south of Seattle. It was that great era where he had his leather jacket, his jeans. He just would run from one platform to another. It was a real workout. If, if it had been the time of Fitbit, he would be getting a lot of steps in. I was just floored. And the reason this concert was so important to me is I remember my friend turning to me in the middle of the concert and just saying that she wanted to, I'm making this a little more PG than what she said, but she wanted to kiss George Michael. And I thought, I, don't want to kiss George Michael. I want to be on stage. And uh, I think it was at that moment that I realized who and what I wanted to be in life. The show was June of 1990. I was in high school, so this is my senior year. This is the night of senior prom. So all my friends were at prom doing the high school thing. I went to the show by myself in Eugene, Oregon at the Wow Hall. The hall itself was like a former lumberjack hall. So it's like, it's it's all built of wood. It sounds fantastic for bands because of the, the music bouncing off the wood. It was for me, like a fork in the road for my life because I was a huge Fugazi fan. They had like a really amazing way of writing punk songs that were very tight. And I loved the ethics of Fugazi, you know, the whole idea of rejecting the dominant culture and rewriting how we wanted to live our lives. Like that to me was what I wanted to do for our generation. I think I owe a lot of thanks to that show because it was definitely like a door opened for me. In 1999, we were touring in Japan. We were flying back into San Francisco. We found out that Grant McLennan and Robert Forster of the Go-Betweens were playing at the Great American Music Hall, which is a beautiful, beautiful venue. So we finagled our way into the show. We landed very jet lagged and saw Grant and Robert perform. What was amazing was that afterwards, we got to meet them and we went back to this hotel and just like drank and hung out and played guitar and Grant showed us the chords to Love Goes On, which is from their album 16 Lovers Lane. And uh, yeah, it's unreal to have the actual writer of a song show you how to play the song. So the whole night just has this sheen to it, sort of like the perfect concert going experience. Thanks for listening to our Marquee Memories and catch us on tour to make some of your own. 